Caleb. Yes, Mr. Kirby? When you get a moment I'd like to talk with you about something in my office. Sure, Mr. Kirby. I'll be right in after I finish this last table. Is there anything wrong, Mr. Kirby? No, there's nothing wrong. It's something I'd like to talk to you about. Phew. Okay, what is it? Caleb, you've been working here for a few months. You're doing a wonderful job. I'm very pleased with you. You're also a very friendly young man who's very good with the customers and you've won the respect of your co-workers and that's very good. Thanks, Mr. Kirby. Was that all you wanted to talk to me about? No, there's more. You're a very good worker who takes pride in his job and that's admirable. However, I feel that you could be more. Really? What do you have in mind for me? Have you ever considered being a manager of a restaurant like this one? Not really, Mr. Kirby. I'm currently attending a junior college in hopes of trying to make something of myself. No offense, but I really wouldn't want to be working in a fast food place like this all of my life. I'm currently in between things as far as school and my education goes. I really haven't decided what I would like to do with my life. Really? What is your major? Do you mind me asking? I've been taking courses in both education and theater arts. I'd like to have a job where I could help others, especially kids, to help build them up and have a productive life. Plus, attending college is actually a foreign concept to me. The religion I was raised in forbid higher education. What religion would forbid higher education? I'm embarrassed to say. It's okay. No judgment here. Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh yeah. That door-to-door -door group that likes to push their watchtower in awake magazines. Yup. Actually, I have several relatives who are JWs. They've tried to get me in there, but I'm not interested. I was raised in Judaism, although I don't practice it anymore due to my being agnostic. These relatives broke away from Judaism and became JWs. I was born in and raised within it. I've also had some really negative stuff that happened to me in there, alongside my sister. It still makes me feel sad thinking about it. What kind of negative things? Well, my sister was the victim of sexual abuse at the hands of one of the elders. Actually, you can find out all about it by clicking in the above link. Wow. I don't know how you did that. But I watched that video. It sounds terrible. Did that same thing happen to you? Almost. You can hear about that by clicking on this link. Again, that's a special talent you have. I got it. I'll watch that one too. I have no respect for any religion that tolerates such a thing. Yes, I agree. I just feel sorry for my mom because of what she's going through right now. She's on so many antidepressants and has been in and out of the local mental hospital so many times. My alcoholic father only adds to her suffering. If it weren't for another elder with a Ponzi scheme I feel that this wouldn't be happening to my mom. Ponzi scheme? Yeah, my parents invested all of their money in a scheme by brother Moonbat. He was an elder. He took off with all of their money and my parents were forced to sell the house and move into a trailer park. The worst part of this is that guy is still serving as an elder in another congregation. He was never reported to the authorities. Sheesh. What a mess. I actually feel bad for them. I still love them, although my dad shuns me because I am not in the religion anymore. Say what? They shun former followers who left, including their own children. They said they'll never talk to us again until we return to Jehovah. That's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. I'm sorry that all of that happened to you and your sister. But look at it this way. You made it to your adulthood. You have a job where you're doing good. You're also in school trying to make something of yourself. Thanks Mr. Kirby. I'm also grateful for all the new friends that I've made here at work and also a few from my graduating class. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have a girlfriend either. She's hot as hell. Still, I have a long way to go to get over this cult. Maybe one day, I'll get to where I want to be. I still don't know what I would like to do for the rest of my life, but I'll know one day what it will be. Just keep trying Caleb, and things will happen. My only advice is don't put off your life plans for too long. I also advise you to still consider a career in management one day. Thanks. I'll take it under advisement. As I said, simply keep trying and you'll make it to where you want to be in your life. 
you actually have a very positive attitude and that's a wonderful thing to have. You'll make it there one day and I have faith that you will. Thanks man. I mean, Mr. Kirby. My pleasure. Okay, now go sell some burgers. Sure. Thanks again. Oh hey. One more thing. Why do hamburgers act brilliantly on stage? I don't know. They give meaty performances, especially if they are in their prime. Get it? In their prime? Ha 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 Oh yeah. Good one Mr. Kirby. Ha 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 Hello sir. Welcome to Burger Universe. How may I help you? <laughs>